Um, so today I'm coming back with another haul and it's from Romwe.com. I ordered some stuff from them a couple weeks ago and I'm just getting around to showing you all of it and trying it on and doing a quick honest review of Romwe. There's a lot of confusion about Romwe. People think it's a scam or their clothes never come or the sizes are all wrong or you know there's so many rumors. And I'm just going to tell you exactly what my experience was, how it was, and whether or not I would buy from them again, which I would. I was pretty happy, but yeah, I guess we'll get to it in the haul. So I just have all my stuff pulled up here because I don't remember the exact prices, but yeah. Um, from now on, basically, I paid in Singapore dollars because I live in Singapore, so the prices are a little different, even though the prices vary all the time, which is what I'll get to in a second. Um, you know that the prices are in Singapore dollars, not US dollars, or whatever other currency you use. So, the first thing I got was this deep v-neck short sleeve dress, and this one is super cute. It's a very popular picture. It's all over the internet, and it just looks like this. I'll show myself trying it on as well as the original picture. So one thing about Romwe is that they clearly use stolen photos, so the items that you're buying look a lot better, obviously, on the model when they've been edited and when they've been, like, you know, processed and stuff like that. So that can be misleading, and I was misled too, even though I knew from the very beginning that the photos were stolen and they weren't actually Romwe's property that they were taken. But for some reason it didn't really click in my head, so I expected the stuff to look pretty much the same, and it... It is, like, close, but I'm not a model, and the dress is not perfect, or the, you know, the stuff that I got, um, they're not perfect, and they're not exactly true to the photo, so that can be misleading, but you, you just have to kind of keep that in mind, and not let yourself get misled, and for me, too, I love to sew, I have a sewing machine, so I knew from the very beginning that I would have to do some alterations, so I would buy pretty much true to size, if not, if it's a tighter piece of clothing, I would buy one size up at the most. So this dress fits pretty nicely, and that dress was $12.99 Singapore dollars. The next one I got was this long sleeve zipper wrapped navy blue dress, and all the stuff that I bought I'll link in the bottom bar below so you guys can go and see it. But another thing about Romwe is that the premise of their website is that everything's on sale all the time, so it's another thing that's pretty misleading and it makes you feel as if you're getting such a good deal because you're like, oh, like everything, you know, this is like 30% off, that's such a good deal, um, and the prices are pretty affordable, but, you know, I live in Asia, so I'm not really, um, sensitive to prices that low, I guess, because I know the actual cost of the garments. I've been, like, shopping in, like, Bali, as you, like, as you guys saw in my last video, and the stuff there is super cheap, and that's how much clothes should cost, but it's not how much clothes do cost generally, so the prices on Romwe, it's cheap, but it's not that cheap, um, but I guess it is cheaper than going to the store, like, going to Forever 21 or H&M, something, so that does help, but it's not a lot cheaper. It's two to five dollars cheaper at the most for a lot of things. So this right here, is a long sleeve dress with a zip. It's pretty cute, but it's also a little ill-fitting. This is in a size large, and I'm not a size large. I wish that I had gotten a medium or even maybe a small in this, but yeah, I don't know. It definitely needs to be altered, and it's a little weirdly cut, a little bit ill-fitting, but it looks pretty cute in the picture again, so you do have to keep that in mind. But I think it'll look good once I alter it a little bit, and this one was $20.11. And then I got this burgundy sequin party dress. This one was $20.99. And this one is actually pretty true to the picture. I like it. The only thing is that in the front you can tell it's, in the picture, it's very sharp, these lines. Like, these lines are very sharp like a triangle. But the actual one, like, they're rounded, so it looks a little funky. But at the back it's cute. It's a cross back. And the length is really nice, and the color is too. I really, really like this dress. This is the white v-neck short sleeve peplum trimmed romper, and it just looks like this. This is in a size extra large, and I really should have gotten a smaller size, but they didn't have anything. The picture looks so cute that I had to buy it. It does fit, but it's pretty huge. And what was weird about it was that when I first got it, I had to cut it a bit, so there's like a little stitch that's sticking out, but when I first got it, this this neckline thing was stitched together, so I couldn't even get my hips in, and there was no way to put it on. So I had to cut it to get my body into the hole. I guess part of it is my body, like my hips are pretty big, and I'm very like 
I guess like curvy like my my head compared to my hips my hips are way bigger probably like twice the size I don't know but yeah so I definitely could not fit into this and that's maybe like also a sizing issue on their part or like a craftsmanship issue because I'm not really sure where they get their pictures I don't know how wrong we works I don't know if it's like these are factory clothes from another brand that they took or they found pictures and they just recreate the clothes and so the sizing's a little bit off. I'm not totally sure about that, but yeah, there's something about the sizing and about the, the make of it that's a little bit off but can be corrected. But yeah, so here is my comprehensive review with everything along the sides so you guys know exactly what to expect. So shipping. I would give shipping 5 out of 5, perfect, it was so quick, it was so easy. They have this thing where selected items will ship out in 24 hours, and you need to be careful when you read that because people get misled, they think that it means it will ship to your doorstep in 24 hours, and that's not what it means. It means it will go from the warehouse to the box to the shipping facility in 24 hours, which is very reasonable and that's great. So for me, my stuff shipped in 22 hours, and I was very, very happy with that. I ordered on, I think it was a Thursday afternoon, and it had shipped out by Friday lunchtime. And I received my stuff on Tuesday, even though they're shipping. I got the standard free shipping, so I was really, really satisfied with that because they said that the shipping would take five to seven business days, and it had been one business day since my stuff had shipped out, so it was shipped out Friday afternoon and it had arrived at my house Tuesday afternoon. So I was really happy with that. I was extremely pleased and I don't know if it's a geographical thing because of where I live, but generally, I mean airmail is airmail and a flight to anywhere basically takes 24 hours. So the shipping was really great. It was spectacular. Five out of five. It was quick. In that aspect of it, I would totally order from them again because I know it'll be fast. And they communicated with me very well when the stuff was shipped out because some people were complaining that they didn't receive a shipping email. Um, in terms of clothing, for fit, I would give the fit a 3 out of 5 because part of it is on me because I ordered the wrong sizes, which is why I still get 3 stars because the fit's fine, it just my body it didn't fit. Um, sizes, I guess, because I had ordered wrong, so I would order more true to size. And also, just the the shape of it didn't really work with my body. Like, the stuff, like, how that one romper was stitched together and I couldn't get my body into it, that stuff, like, fit, that's what made it lose the two stars. Um, the make of it, I would give that, you know, like, a four out of five. The stuff is pretty well made, and you know, there's not like there's like threads hanging off of it. It's it's well made. The fabric is not the best material. It's not super high quality, but for the price, it's reasonable, I guess. And you know, when you order off these sites, you don't you shouldn't expect a lot. And I was happy with what I got because I had low expectations in the first place, and they actually did impress me. So yeah, the make of it, I'd give a four out of five. Pretty good. Not perfect. Not exactly true to the picture, but the pictures are stolen anyway. So. It's all about expectations, really. For the price, I would give the price a 4 out of 5, too. It's not perfect. As I said, in my last haul, the prices in Bali were super cheap. I was getting stuff for like $5, $10, and this stuff was all around $20. I got four pieces for $75, and that includes the $1.36 um, insurance for the shipping. So yeah, I was pretty happy with it. I got four things for under $100, which is totally atypical for Singapore shopping so I was happy with that so that's why the price gets four out of five but at the same time the stuff is a little bit cheaply made and it could be cheaper but yeah that's basically it for my runway review I don't think there's anything more I can say about it but hopefully that was helpful and was comprehensive I had a generally good experience except for the sizing which is also my fault so you can take that into consideration as well but yeah, let me know if you guys have ever ordered from Romwe or any similar sites. And let me know what your experiences were. Did you get scammed? Were you happy? You know, how did your experience compare with other reviews on YouTube? Because my experience was pretty good compared to the other reviews on YouTube. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul and quick review. Let me know if you like these type of videos. Um, because I don't usually do hauls and I don't usually do try on hauls. So let me know if you like this better. 
than my Bali one. That one I didn't try on because I had so many items. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you if you're going to do some online shopping. But yeah, let me know what your favorite piece I showed you was. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!